Oh my God. had a great 2018 hope 2019 is even better for you and this is my first video for 2019 now I mentioned in a previous video that I'm going to be returning to the throwback series for the month of January uh, just for me in general the month of January is a little bit slower for fishing and you guys know or maybe you don't know but I upload every three days so that's a lot of content and uh, you know just to make sure I give you some quality stuff I'm gonna incorporate the throwback series for the month of January so every third upload you'll see a throwback video so as far as throwback series schedule goes it's gonna be today which is the first video the 12th the 21st and as I mentioned before the 30th the last one I will actually open up a community poll and have you guys vote for the last throwback video for the month so first video 2019 first throwback video I thought I would go over my top five baits for 2018 so as far as this video I'm gonna show you each bait there are no particular order talk about it a little bit and then I'll show you a couple of uh, memorable catches on it from 2018 so the first bait and I think this is one of the baits that actually has been consistent in the past three years for me as a top five bait is the Z-Man custom chatter bait this is a half ounce we got the black nickel blade as far as the trailer goes this is a Gary Yamamoto swim Senko trailer it's the five inch I cut off about an inch and then I thread it onto that hook some people say, well, why don't you use the 4-inch? Well, the 5-inch is actually a bit bigger, thicker profile. I like that as a trailer, so I go with the 5-inch and just cut off the front. Now, this bait is probably one of the few baits that you can really use all year round. I'm talking pre-spawn, spawn, summer, fall, winter. The Z-Man chatterbait, or chatterbaits in general, is one of those baits. And for me, the chatterbait really shines in spring specifically pre-spawn before those fish move up and start to bed this thing is an absolute nuisance on those fish and they cannot help but chomp this you know last year the beginning of 2018 it was okay went off to the uh, national championship in Kentucky it was a little bit of a disappointment for me it didn't do as well as I thought I would do and uh, yeah I was just kind of a little disheartened by that but I came back to California Got back out in the Delta, started throwing the Z-Man chatterbait around, and uh, it paid off with a couple chunks. There we go, chatterbait. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, oh my god, oh my god. There's a tank. Finally caught a big fish. makes up for things oh my god I'm shaking shaking like a leaf that's a giant let's let her go oh my god. next bait kind of going in order here as far as the year goes but after the pre-spawn period we're into the spawn and I like bed fishing. I like sight fishing. I like standing up in my kayak, you know, moving around, looking for those spawning fish and sight fishing. And uh, my absolute favorite bed fishing bait, I know a lot of guys like lizards or worms or jigs. I like a little Texas rig, drop shot rigged, big bite baits, warmouth. Absolute favorite bait for fishing beds. And uh, like I said, I'll put it on a drop shot rig, use a 3 aught EWG hook to Texas rig it, keep it weedless. And uh, this chartreuse color is my favorite color because when the water's a little stained, you can at least see your bait if you can't see the fish as well. And if you see your bait disappear, well, 
the fish might have it in its mouth. I plan on doing a lot of bed fishing this year. I mean, that's probably a little ways away, but uh, I've definitely learned a lot bed fishing, you know, just ways to kind of get them to bite better or quicker. And uh, I'm gonna definitely be doing a video on that this year, but I've noticed probably one of the most effective techniques for fishing this bait through a bed or on a bed is actually making a cast past the bed and just dragging it through. Sometimes slow, sometimes aggressive, but it particularly helps when those fish are super finicky and they're spooky and they kind of scare off when you throw it into their bed. I've had fish last year where I threw this bait in there maybe 50, 60 times and the fish would finally just come back to the bed and commit to the bait. Super great bait. It's a staple for me every spring. Big bite baits, warm mouth. She had it. She had it in her mouth. I could have set the hook and got her. Oh, I got her. I got her. I got her. Stay on the line, baby. Stay on the line. It's a tank. It's a tank. Oh, it's a tank. Come. Oh my God, it's bigger than I thought. Holy crap. Oh my God. All right. In the mouth, you can see it right there. Oh my God, this is a giant fish. This, is the big, this might be my PB. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think this is my PB. Oh my god. That is a giant fish. Yeah, this is something new. Bait number three for me. Major player this year, first time throwing it, first time throwing glide baits this year. This is a Jackal Ganterell. Okay, I think this is the Shiner color. This color in particular was the most effective for me. This bait was pretty much my post-spawn big fish catcher. You know, after those bass spawn and they're kind of guarding fry and then the bluegill start to move in and spawn, this is a perfect imitation. It really pisses off the bass and they hammer this thing. Absolute staple in my arsenal now. I will be throwing this in the spring, post-spawn, and maybe into the summer a little bit. Phenomenal bait and it's a good price too. It worked! It worked! It worked! Mike, it worked! Mike! Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, that is my first swim bait fish ever. I've got to give a shout out to Mr. Alden Walden, because he gave me this swim bait. That's a long one, man. That's like a 21. That's a belly shirt. God, did that really just happen? It did. Oh my God, that's a huge fish. Oh, Jesus. That is a huge fish right there. Post spawn. Okay, let's let her go. Oh, free girl. Moving into the summer, cannot beat a frog. 
Now, I've experimented with a lot of frogs in the past. I've kind of had little fads or trends where I use one versus the other. But all in all, this past year, I've kind of landed on a new frog, uh, especially for the delta, especially for, for fishing matted vegetation, and that is the live target frog. I think, I'm not sure what color this is. It's like a sunburn color or something like that. I'll put, again, I'll put all the links to these baits in the description. But this color in particular, this live target frog in the big size, was absolutely killer for me. As far as modifications for the frog, trim the legs a little bit, apply a little fish sticks, and it's game on. That's called choking it right there. Man, that was a crazy fight. The uh, fish was like water skiing. I mean, I wasn't water skiing the fish. The fish was like on the surface, like flapping its tail, like water skiing itself. And uh, since today's video, apparently I'm doing some flashbacks. I'll show you another incident where I had a fish fight like that. It was a Clear Lake tournament. Just a really weird, weird thing to happen. I never thought that would happen again, but there, happened right there. Oh, God. All right, and cue the comments for early hook set. I know. I guess it didn't matter too much. Is that a toad? Well, it's a good start. Last bait for you guys. I don't think this is a surprise to anyone. Next to the chatter bait, this is a bait that I use year round. Use it when I need a bite, when the fishing is tough. The Zoom Z drop, drop shot worm, green pumpkin. I mean, so simple, yet so effective. This is always tied on in my boat. If I need a bite, if I need confidence, this is what I'm throwing. And this has saved my butt a handful of times in 2018 when I needed to catch a fish. Again, this is on a drop shot rig. I actually use a two watt uh, straight shank finesse hook when fishing around grass so it stays weedless, uh, which helps around the delta. This is absolutely money and uh, it will always be in my boat, I promise you that. Oh my God, that's a giant, that's a giant. That is a giant fish. Oh my God. That is a big one, whatever it is. Is that a bass? Oh my God. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one right there. There you go. But that's it guys. Those are my five baits of 2018 that were the most effective, the most productive. You know, it changed a little bit from previous years, but um, you know, I'm kind of a guy that uses what works. And there were a lot of good baits for me in 2018 that I didn't mention, but all in all, those five baits were the deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy the throwback series. They're fun to make. It's kind of cool to reflect on the past year. So like I said, the throwback series will be every third video. So today, the 12th, the 21st, and then on the 30th, I'm gonna let you guys vote. But that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it's an awesome 2019. And I will see you guys in three days. Later.